solar generators and gas generators which one is the best option for being prepared for power outages well let's take a look at the pros and cons of each one solar generators or portable power stations are a great way to have a backup source of power one of the best benefits of having a portable power station is that it's always ready to go when you need it and it doesn't make any noise when you're using it the last thing you want in a real grid down situation is to have a loud gas generator running outside that lets the whole neighborhood know you have power having a portable power station just makes sense for this reason alone another pro is that solar generators are low maintenance for the most part you just set it up and it's ready when a power outage occurs. You don't have to change oil, change spark plugs, or worry about a carburetor gumming up like you would with a gas generator. Also, you don't have to buy gas and store fuel for these because you can recharge them with solar panels. So you get free power from the sun. But this can also be a con since the primary source of recharging a portable power station is using solar panels. One downside is that if it's really cloudy or raining outside, you're not going to be able to recharge using the solar panels. And if you think about it, a lot of the time when you lose power, more than likely it's because of a storm of some kind in which it would be overcast or raining outside. So the sun isn't going to be shining. So that's definitely something that you want to think about. Another con is that the upfront cost of solar generators can be high, especially when you're also purchasing uh, the solar panels to go with it. But we have seen the technology and price for what you get improve and get better over time. So that's good. And for some of the pros of a gas generator, you can get a good gas generator a lot cheaper then you can get a portable power station and solar panels. I have a Honda EU2200i and it works great. The great thing about these Hondas is that while they do make noise, they aren't extremely loud like a lot of other generators out there, especially if you run it with the eco mode turned on. It's really not that loud at all. And these are not dependent on the sun shining for recharging. You just have to make sure you store plenty of fuel to get you through a power outage. And for the cons, even though the Honda I have is pretty quiet, the noise that it does make is still a con because again, you really don't want to be advertising what you have in a grid down situation. Also for a gas generator, you will have to store a lot of fuel. If you're using gasoline, you'll have to keep it stabilized and rotated. I've converted my uh, Honda generator to be able to use propane as well because propane stores indefinitely and it doesn't go bad. So that way I can just stock up on a bunch of propane and I don't have to worry about it going bad. Also, unlike a solar generator, with a gas generator, you will have to make sure you do regular maintenance and make sure you store it properly. So both solar and gas generators have their pros and cons. And if you are on a tight budget, Getting a small gas generator like the Honda I have might be your best option, but if you can afford it, I think the best option would be to use both. For my primary source of backup power, I use the Goal Zero Yeti 3000X, and to recharge it, I have four 200 watt solar panels, and these work great. If you're currently in the market for a portable power station, I wouldn't recommend uh, getting what I have as it's a bit outdated and there are now much better options on the market like the new EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 that has a lot more capabilities and a much better battery. It can even supply both 120 volt power 
and 240 volt power from the same unit. So that's what I would recommend if you're looking for a solar generator. And I'll leave a link down in the description if you wanna check it out further. But like I mentioned before, if we run into a really cloudy day or a rainy day where we don't have much sun, I'm not going to be able to use my solar panels, but I can recharge my goal zero from my Honda generator using a 600 watt power supply cord. My goal zero is a 3000 watt unit. So even if it was all the way down to 0% power, I could recharge it all the way up to 100% in just five hours. So that's pretty good, but I'm never going to let it get to 0%. This way the gas generator wouldn't be running all the time and I'm keeping the noise to a minimum because I'm only using my Honda to top off my power station when absolutely necessary. Also, if for some reason my Goal Zero power station just stopped working completely, I can power my home using the Honda generator by plugging it directly into my transfer panel. So having both for me is the best option. And to see my transfer panel and how I can use my Honda generator to power my home, click on this next video right here and I'll show you how.